Ron, do you find that people come up to you and call you Dr. Morton? They do that a lot, and I'm very flattered by it. I mean, for someone to, to take from television and, and believe that closely, uh, must think I must be doing my job or something that they wouldn't call me that. So it, it, it surprises me a little bit, but I like it. I, I wonder, because I found out that uh, you were a Navy corpsman, Mm -hmm. And I, did that have any bearing at all on your playing Dr. Morton? Well, it didn't have any bearing on me getting the job at the time because, of course, they didn't know, Jack Webb did not know at the time that I was a Navy corpsman, but it helped. See, originally I wasn't, I've been on this show now four years. We're going in our fourth season. So the thing is, is that it helped later when I began to do my job. My medical background become, came through certain procedures that I do are very normal medical procedures. And they were very impressed with that. But in originally, I was set to do a one-day role just as an intern in that show. And look what it's done. Here I am with talking with you. Isn't it? Well, that's amazing, great. You know, I, I love success yeah. stories. So it's, obviously, oh, you yeah. did something that impressed them. I must have done something right. Something. <laughs> <laughs> and you continue to do it right because yeah, you're holding yeah. down your job yeah, very well. That's true. That's true. Do you find that paramedics ever write to you people in the show and say, hey, you're helping us, or hey, you're Absolutely. making our life worse? Absolutely. Um, let me share something with you. They use, many paramedic units throughout this country use the show because all of our procedures are Class A, right down the line procedures. And so what they'll do with new personnel, they'll use the show kind of to introduce them to the handling of the equipment and this and that. And I was very flattered by that kind of thing. Paramedic units all over this country are beginning to crop up, which is justly so. If you realize the need for such an organization is critical. I mean, we're out, we've run out of wild western spaces and the country doctor no longer exists, per se. There are small rural areas where it is very much like the country, but generally speaking, it's a very large kind of thing and we're everywhere. So it's only necessary for us it's important for us to have the best possible medical care that we can provide for American citizens. We're the greatest country in the world, and we're number 17 in medical care. Now, that doesn't make sense. <clears throat> what we're fighting, actually, and certainly not through the show, but I mean just to understanding the problem, is that we're fighting for a kind of, what would it be considered, uh, community medicine, that kind of thing. Um, when someone is in a critical state of health, the most important thing to do is stabilize that person to where his life is okay and then transfer him to a hospital where he can receive or he or she receive the proper treatment. Now that can only be done by a different way of looking at medical practices today. Doctors are going to have to give room to paramedical personnel so that doctor's time is utilized doing what doctors know how to do and not just going through procedures that other people can do. Let's save the doctor's time. The American Medical Association must realize the value of this kind of paramedical treatment. Uh, do they ever give the show any flack? Occasionally we get a little flack, but, but not enough to really warrant us stopping our momentum behind what we're trying to do. Now, Los Angeles, right where you are here in this time of day, if anybody in this room or this building or anybody anywhere around here had a heart attack, the fire department would respond with trained personnel. Now, that's a wonderful thing. When you think about that, I mean, your mother, your wife, your husband, your daughter, you to have that knowledge that emergency medical care is available makes life a little bit easier to live. No, life is no bowl of chairs for no one, but it makes just that knowledge makes it a little easier to men to live by. Yes. And so I advocate all over the country that the uh, Congress people or the uh, people who make laws or the Senate or whatever it requires, you know, state Senate representatives, should look carefully at this at this show that is a dramatic, entertaining kind of presentation and look for the real value in emergency which is information education and entertainment in that order and that's the reason why the kids like it because they get input they get feedback yes because you know i'm sure when you knew at first that you were pitted against all in the family you thought well here we go 13 weeks i really did feel like we were kind of an, up a tree but you know what we've been there for now four seasons and i don't feel any pain at all as a matter of fact I, I'd like all of the family on occasion. I'm not, I'm not that kind of a humorist. I don't take humor in, in, uh, in making light of other people. 
Um, maybe I'm just too serious of a young man, but I don't particularly care. That's not my cup of tea, but it, they certainly have room for it. They've, they've shown in the uh, demographics that there's a certain segment, you know, that watches All in the Family, and, and you people have a tremendous young audience, mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. like emergency. And that's fine, and I think that it's, people should be able to turn back and forth, but the reality of emergency is that it is real. It's not make-believe. Uh, well, the same thing with All in the Family. The kind of humor that goes on is also very real. So it has a value. I'm not knocking All in the Family at all. I mean, they're fellow actors of mine, and, and there's, there's room and place for everybody. But emergency has something for the people, and they call it social redeeming value. Ron, thank you very much. You're My a pleasure. most interesting young man to talk with. Thank mm -hmm. you. Tell everybody I said hello, will you? <laughs>